Hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create and we are working on Cottage Life and this is page six. Page six. Yep. So um, the first thing I started with is I put um, a center line or a center dot on the top and bottom because we're going to split this page in half with two different pockets. I'm using this border strip which came from the 8x8 collection pack and we're going to start by laying it in right here. And I've already inked it and I think I've got everything else inked, but we will see. <laughs> I often think that and I'm incorrect. <laughs> and I hope everybody's doing well. Um, it is, it's a nice day here, but I've got, I don't know, something I'm feeling a little down. Like I've caught something, I don't know what, so. <clears throat> I had hoped I'd be a little further along, but uh, it is what it is. At first I thought it was allergies, now I think it's something a little more severe. <laughs> okay. There we go. So there's our, our center strip. Now we're gonna have a pocket on each side. These pockets measure five and a quarter by five and a quarter, and you're going to score a half inch on three sides. and they're gonna go right to the corners. And then you'll have this strip in between. <clears throat> there we go, we've got one more over here. Again, this is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. You're gonna score a half inch on three sides and add score tape. And I couldn't find my 3 8 score tape at the time, so I've got this uh, quarter inch, so it's going to take me a few minutes to get all the backing off. And then I've subsequently found it, because this is a pain <laughs> to use quarter inch, two strips of quarter inch versus one 3 8 There we go. And of course, we've got our two tags that are going to go inside. I'm going to set these aside because we don't need to do that right now. The pink is what's going to cover the pocket, and the blue is what's going to go on top. And I should dry fit. Looks good. Looks good. And then we are going to line our pockets with the blue.
there we go isn't that pretty and then we've got our two tags and I'm gonna add um, a charm to each one so I'm going to dig through my goodies basket it's really not a basket I use these um, little serving trays because I can stack them and I can separate the chipboard and the dies from other cut apart so I'm gonna need a couple of rings and some jewelry <laughs> so I'm gonna pour that out and then I'm likely going to embellish down here but I don't know how yet until I start designing page seven so I'll come back to that <clears throat> So I just want them to look kind of similar. So I like the hat and I think I like the, um, what do you call it? Watering can. <laughs> My brain's not working. So I have these other dyes left over from Let It Be, which I think are precious too. One's a bee and one's a ladybug. So I might figure out a way to use those, but they might go on the spine. So I kind of, as I have um, remaining charms, I just bundle them all together and uh, go through them and then use what I think looks, looks good. Sometimes I've got extras from others and uh, sometimes I use them all in one project. So it just depends, it can vary greatly. Okay, I'm just gonna torque this top to bottom. two sides so I don't have to think about that too much and I'm probably going to add even a little bit of twine on these with a bow um, but right now I just want to make sure I get the charms on them so I don't forget okay so the reason I'm wiggling it back and forth is that process hardens the metal um, if you weren't aware of that already and of course, you can overwork it, and then it becomes brittle. And I actually got these at a craft store, um, a local craft store. I like to try to buy them in bulk someplace else, but lately we just can't find any charms. It's hard to find charms or uh, any jewelry, jump rings, anything like that. The craft stores have practically nothing these days. It's... Uh, it's a little heartbreaking. Fortunately, it looks like the end of an industry, certainly a brick and mortar industry. Okay, I think it's been a long time coming actually. Okay, so now we've got these in. And like I said, I'll likely embellish this, but not until I get page um, seven in work and figure out what other colors I can possibly pull into this page. So that's it for our very simple page six. Be back soon.